In this episode, a young couple's snorkeling trip in India ends in disaster as the woman is dragged out to sea oh by my an enormous predator. God. It's not a predator you would expect to find in the open water. A scaly body, a long, powerful... Shit, I don't want to go like that. That's not the way that I want to go, guys. Getting eaten alive by a crocodile. I want to go quick. I want just, bam, I'm gone. I watched this video of this guy which was driving his Ferrari, right? And then he lost control and then bam, he's dead. That's how I want to go. I do, brah. And you scream, you're trying to, oh, she, ah, pulling you down, you're punching it, bruh. It's just breaking your bones. You're screaming and then you die. I can't, I can't do that. That's not the way that I want to go. But if there was an animal which were to kill you, which animal would you guys pick? I think I'd want a tiger to end me because the tiger is quick. Here, bleed to death quick. But a crocodile, bro, you can feel your bones breaking as it's just dragging you under and you're drowning. The snout and the toothy grin of a crocodile emerge from the blue. Oh, it's shit. A woman nowhere to be seen. The police grow suspicious of her boyfriend's claims until they find his camera. Hit that like button and subscribe right now. This is the terrifying crocodile attack the on death Lauren Faila. Welcome to oh, Final shit. Affliction. My stomach, bro. 25 year old Lauren Faila was living her best life. Originally from New Jersey, USA, she had just finished studying for a master's degree mm. at Sotheby's Institute of Art in London. Okay. She was an incredibly talented artist and soprano singer, a kind, warm-hearted individual who had also fallen in love with 24-year-old Hito Chada. His father was born in India, and Hito... Bro, what are these names, my guy? Hito Tada. ...was eager to show his girlfriend, Lauren, the country. On the spur of the moment, they planned a trip to the subcontinent. There were some beautiful places to visit, mm. some exquisite architecture, and incredible beaches. One of those beaches was at Havelock Island in India's remote Andaman Island chain. Wait, are there crocodiles in India? Lauren saw the trip as a final adventure before settling down. Yeah, she, it's like uh, her final destination. She had received a distinction in her art masters and intended to shift her focus to social care. She was always described as a caring person, someone who would drop oh everything to lend a helping hand. Mm. She had volunteered with bereaved children mm. by offering art classes. It's always the nice people which get killed first as a form of therapy. This was, perhaps, something she intended on doing upon returning to the U.S. after her trip to India. She was an active member of the church and was eager to attend a church concert <sighs> featuring... Bruh, guys, favorite... church! All... Bro, come on! Why don't we kill, like... I don't want to say specific names, but there are some people, bro, which we can just, like, throw to the crocs, bro. I have at least two, maybe three people which are... I was on a boat and it's them or me. I'll push them. I'm like, I'll just, just, and I'll, I'll, I'd be, I'd be happy if they, <laughs> I would be, honestly. Group, Morristown's Blair Reinhardt band, just a few days after returning home. But she would never make the concert. Oh my God. Havelock Island, also known as Swaraj Dweep is home to some 6,000 people and is situated in the Bay of Bengal. It is Bengal. known for its stunning beaches. Picture-perfect white sands and turquoise blue waters are lined... Bro, you can see if a crocodile is coming, my guy. That is so clear. ...by a backdrop of lush greenery. The most popular beach, Radhanagar Beach, also called Beach Number 7, is situated on the west coast. That's it was so beautiful. voted the best beach in yeah. Asia by yeah. Time Magazine in 2004. On April 28, 2010, towards the end of their trip across India, Hito and Lauren headed to beach number seven on Havelock Island. It was just past three in the afternoon. The conditions were perfect. Hito was an experienced snorkeler and scuba diver. The two of them headed down to the water's edge, each carrying with them their masks and snorkels. There was no one else about. It was the perfect romantic getaway. They paddled into the water, wading in up to their waists. Then they pulled their masks over their faces and dived into the blue. 
The shallows opened out to a reef, and the two of them swam along the corals, pointing out the brightly colored fish darting about beneath them. The water was clear. It was warm. Tito was filming the snorkel with his Rocker. underwater camera. Whilst the beach was deserted, the couple were oh. alone. A predator was moving silently closer, though not one you would expect to find out in the open water. Okay. It ducked beneath the surface, holding its breath as it swayed its tail from side to side, propelling it through the Indian Ocean. A crocodile skin, particularly on the head, oh. is covered in pressure sensors known Rather. as intergamentary sensory organs. These enable the animal to See, detect surface what pressure I'm saying, waves from guys. a long way off. Look at that, bruh. A zebra is... If a zebra has no chance, look at that. It's just ripping the zebra to shreds. This particular crocodile oh could sense God. the presence of Lauren and Hito mm. along the reef. It was on the hunt for a meal. It made a beeline directly for the young couple, drawn to their movements, the vibrations from their splashes and their voices above the water surface. Lauren and Hito headed towards a cove along the shore. As they swam along, Lauren suddenly felt something sharp grab hold of her leg. It yanked her backwards, and she immediately thought that it was it's a, a shark. shark. Yeah. She cried out in alarm, and she was violently dragged through the water. She instinctively reached down to try and pull her leg free. Hito turned around to see a flash of dark green and gray swirl around Lauren. I'm sorry, my guy. You can't protect your girlfriend against a crocodile. You can't. This... Is that even like saying like you're not a masculine dude, bruh? It's a croc to protect and provide, bruh. That's... Bubbles exploded around her oh as she my... wrestled with an enormous creature. Hito could see a long scaly body and a powerful tail thrashing above his head. His eyes were wide as he realized that a 12-foot crocodile had hold of his girlfriend mm. by her leg. He immediately leapt into action. He didn't think about his own safety. He charged towards Lauren and the crocodile and tried to grab it. He instinctively let go of his camera. The video kept rolling as it tumbled to the water column and rested on the seabed, capturing a few seconds of the horrific ordeal. The crocodile had Lauren firmly in its powerful jaws. Hedo tried to hit it repeatedly. He tried to wrestle with it, finding its eyes and poking it, but it was too powerful. It was like hitting an armored truck. No amount of force seemed to make the slightest bit of difference. Lauren was fighting for breath. She was desperately trying to make a break for the surface, but the enormous reptile held her under the water, pulling her downwards. It had taken her completely by surprise. She hadn't taken in a deep lungful of air to prepare for the battle. Instead, she felt her lungs burning as she was dragged away from yeah. the surface. She was losing the fight. Then the crocodile pulled her away from the reef and out to sea. Hito watched, horrified, as his girlfriend was carried away by the cold-blooded predator. He tried to swim after them, but they had disappeared from sight. Bro, Instead, he swam. How are you going to try to swim after a crocodile? They're excellent swimmers. Frantically back to the beach to search for help. In the shallows, he screamed for help and half tripped half sprinted out of the water, across the beach into the nearby resort. Yeah. Emergency services were deployed to the beach and a search for Lauren ensued, but there was no sign of her. There was no sign of a struggle oh or God. of any remains or torn clothing. He just had like a snack. It's just like a little, that's like eating McDonald's for it. That could verify Hito's version of events. With Lauren missing, the police grew suspicious of Hito and his story. Here was a young man in a secluded spot who was claiming that a crocodile had taken his girlfriend. It was a beach yeah. that had never seen crocodiles. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Because what? This is, I guess, salt water? I'm not, not really sure. Usually crocodiles do not swim out in the ocean like that. So it's like, huh? That's weird. Crocodiles before. Hito was hauled off to the police station where the officers began to interrogate him. Hito was oblivious to their suspicions. All he could think about was Lauren and her family. It wasn't until the next day that a diver found Hito's camera on the seafloor by the reef. The camera was still working, and it was immediately... Guys, why are you still diving there? ...inspected by police officers. They rewound the footage, and to their absolute horror, 
they could see that Kido had been telling the truth. As the camera had sunk to the bottom of the sea, it had captured glimpses of an enormous crocodile Whoa. attacking Lauren. To their surprise, it also depicted Hito as the hero. When they replayed the footage over and over, trying to make sense of the attack, they could see the young man rushing over to Lauren and wrestling with the 12-foot reptile in an attempt to save his girlfriend. That footage was a lifesaver for Hito, but his heart was about to be torn to pieces as two days after the incident, authorities found Lauren's remains a short distance from the cove. Mm. She had been killed by the crocodile and her body washed ashore. Both locals and tourists were shocked when the news of Lauren's tragedy spread. The beach was incredibly popular. It was one of the most beautiful beaches on the island and frequented by swimmers and snorkelers. Nobody had ever seen a crocodile there before. Nobody knew that they posed a risk until that moment. It was truly heartbreaking that it had happened to a young woman who was on holiday having the best time yeah but not even not only a young woman but a blonde young woman time of her life and a hot young woman the nearest crocodile sanctuary was Lohabarak crocodile sanctuary located about 45 sea miles from where lauren was attacked there had never been any reports of escaped crocodiles but in the search for lauren authorities came across four in the area the local government were playing with people's lives there was no signage to indicate that there could potentially be crocodiles in the water near beach number seven. Well, this well, was something well. that Lauren's family was furious about. There was no way she would have entered the water if there was even the remotest chance of a crocodile being nearby. Lauren's death hit the family hard, like it would with anyone who lost somebody so young. But for them, it was almost too much to bear. Only four years before, in 2006, Lauren's parents, Frank and Kay, lost their eldest daughter, Emily, oh in a tragic God. rock climbing accident. She had been 24, one year younger than Lauren. Now both girls were gone, and both from tragic accidents, simply from being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Let's end it there. Guys, um, I'm going to travel to India, but I don't think I'm going to be doing any swimming. But um, that is a crazy story. And uh, yeah, that's where I want to end it. Trying to put out a lot of content right now. And I'm very, very happy that you guys have been, you know, commenting, liking, and just giving me that motivation to continue. Thank you very much, guys. I hope you guys have a great weekend. And I'll see you when I see you. Bye. <laughs>